Hey everybody, how you doing out there? This is yours, Dave, uh, Dave's World. Yes, Dave's World. Sorry, I almost slipped the tongue there. Dave's World. From now on, it's going to be Dave's World. We are talking about DJs, not ordinary DJs, but DJs who can scratch. You know that scratch sound? Who can spin, spin the records. Yes, he do, they do that. They scratch. They give a scratch sound. You know, if you've seen uh, Jam Master J and all these uh, DJs in the early days, wait till you hear these ones. These people have name recognition. Not only that, uh, you might have seen them on YouTube videos. One uh, DJ in particular is, I would say, he goes by the name of DJ Cash Money. That's right, DJ Cash Money. I'll put it in the title of my video. Uh, DJ Cash Money to DJ Cubert. DJ Cubert. I guess what he's going with. Okay, anyway, uh, DJ, um, uh, pre, how do you say, uh, I can't even say his name. Sorry, my, 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 my bad, bad judgment of names here. Uh, DJ uh, Premier. No, DJ, I forget his name. Anyway, escapes me at the mill. Anyway, uh, another DJ that I keep in mind is DJ Jazzy Jeff, one half of the Fresh Prince. Yes, DJ, uh, he's still there. He's still doing his thing years and years later. This is, I kid you not. Uh, Jam Master J is still doing his thing as he always been doing in those music videos. DJing and scratching and a whole bunch of things. Uh, so there you go with Will Smith. Will Smith is not with him, but he's doing his thing. He's doing his DJ, scratching up the records. You know, you, you have the Technique turntables. Yep, the Technique turntables, everybody. If you use DJing, you got to use Technique turntables, the professional turntables. Um, and a DJ mixer. Uh, if you want to be a DJ, you got to need a de decent DJ mixer. Uh, the brand names, they call them brand names. Brand names are like uh, anything in the world. Uh, P uh, Pioneer DJ. Pioneer DJ is what every DJ uses nowadays. Pioneer DJ. It, it has a logo on top of the DJ consoles. Uh, a Pioneer DJ, that's what DJs use for their... For their cut and scratching, sampling, they do a little bit of sampling. Remember, they gotta do. It's like a, it's like a, it's a whole band all together. It's like they're, it's like they gotta carry themselves for the crowds. So they have the technique turntables, two technique turntables, and a, a DJ mixer. Yeah. That's all they need. Two technique turntable and a mixer, DJ mixer, at least a DJ mixer, and that can uh, really scratch it up. Sampling could do a, a lot of features on this mixer. Uh, and uh, yeah, reverse, you could do the reverse function on it, and uh, yeah, great. So I wanna say to you guys, DJ is great. I've heard a lot of names out there. Um, I mentioned two of them, uh, DJ Cash Money and DJ uh, Qbert. He goes by the name of DJ Qbert. Uh, his famous name, these, these guys came up from the ranks of DJ. Uh, they have their name recognition, as I said, Sorry, name recognition, DJ Cash Money. I'll put it in the uh, title of my videos. DJ Cash Money and DJ Huber. These are guys with the DJs, but they all do different things on their turntables. Different things, different ways of doing it. Scratching is kind of like giving the scratch sound. And uh, record players are like spinning. You spin the record player, you get the right beat, or right uh, uh, cue up sound. And you scratch, it's, if you hear a lot of DJs out there, they're cutting and scratching, all techniques, all the ways they do how to scratch records. And, uh, and you'll see them right up there in the tables. Uh, they have technique turned it says right on the side of the corner of their, D, uh, of their, of their record players, technique, it says right, right there when the camera uh, zooms up. Uh, technique tur two technique turntables and a DJ mixer. If you, know, if you don't know what a DJ mixer is, uh, you can ask someone at a store, uh, a, a, a store, like any store out there, ask them what a D DJ mixer is. A DJ mixer, I'll give you the, uh, the brief, uh, accessible. DJ mixer is kind of like, um, it has faders, if you all want to know. It has faders, it uh, fades in and out on both turntables, and, uh, if you, uh, <laughs> and a lot of terminologies what a DJ mixer can and cannot do. Uh, a DJ mixer, if you've ever been in one of these DJ stores, 
uh, has many features, these things. Many, many features to mention. Uh, has photo jacks. It's got uh, a magnet turntable. Uh, so if you uh, use a tape recorder, like a, a tape deck, and it needs that high volume sound, that would be the tape decks. But in phono sound, that's for the turntables. Uh, and you gotta ground the turntables. Folks, you gotta remember this. You gotta ground the turntables or you're gonna get that buzz sound through the speakers. You don't want that sound, so you gotta ground, as they say, ground the turntables. Uh, and you won't get that buzzing sound, that humming sound or the buzzing sound. And you always say, where does that come from? We need to ground the turntable. That's why. Uh, so, because it has a motor in these turntables. Folks, you have motor in these turntables. And that motor comes through onto the audio. I don't know how, but it does. Uh, but uh, yeah, so you need to ground the turntable. It's like anything in the world. Ground the turntable. So there you go. And that's, uh, people explain, they'll give you tutorials on how to go about this. Uh, and you need headphones or a speaker system, whatever you need to get yourself. Uh, now remember, you could be a beginner or advanced DJ. You, Oh, you need a little bit of skill. I've noticed for 30 plus years, all you need is two technique chairs, at least they gotta be decent turntables. They gotta be decent turntables, like technique turntables. Uh, you'll see them on YouTube videos sometimes. They have, uh, sometimes the cameras will point right on the turntables, and uh, they're the special kinds that the industry tends to use. Uh, and, um, and get the right equipment. If you're a professional DJ, you, you want the professional equipment. To d deal with. Uh, you want the powered speakers, you want uh, the professional technique turntables, you want everything to do with a DJ. Everything to do with the DJ. Or, or a lot of people would say out of the box. They would have something called the package deal. Uh, uh, they call it starter kits. Uh, where they give you a start, they give you the true turntables, mixer, and all you have to do is buy yourself a microphone. And away you go. And you just need headphones and yeah. You don't need a speaker, so maybe that'll come later. Uh, but yeah, that's how you get your DJ stuff started. They'll, some people will do a, a tutorials on them on YouTube videos. Tutorials, they call them step by step and how to really get yourself started as being a DJ. Full, they call it professional DJ. Uh, it doesn't take any uh, willpower. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, just if you're not familiarized yourself. It's that it, uh, people will tell you that on YouTube videos of how to go about it. It'll take a while, take a while. If you're just a beginner, it'll take a while. Uh, just learn, learn the skills you already know from other DJs. That's the best bet I can give you. Uh, learn it from other turntables, how they scratch records, how they do this, you know, uh, with the, <coughs> the faders, they call them faders. Uh, and uh, they fade in and out the volumes and, you know, back into to, to, Two turntables, they call faders, I guess. Um, and they would have, uh, sometimes they, on the DJ mixer, they would have sampling. So you can sample, I don't know, a little bit of sound, maybe a little. <laughs> so there's a lot of features to the G DJ mixers, if you've seen them a couple times. If you just want a DJ mixer, it's a plain DJ mixer, that's great. If you want a DJ mixer that has all the features on it, that's great too. But the best ones that people are, tend to use nowadays are the Pioneer DJ that says in their logo. Uh, and these are ones that DJs tend to use nowadays. Uh, the Technique Turntables are about $500 a piece. Technique Turntables, they're very expensive. Because uh, they, <laughs> they put all, a bunch of stuff. And one thing about Technique Turntables that, Technique Turntables that a lot of people don't know is you can adjust the tone arcs to your liking, as they would say. So you're like, if you don't like the turntable to be, you don't want the needle to, you know, loosen up a bit. Uh, you don't want the uh, needle to jump over the record. So you got to adjust the tone arm. They call it adjusting the tone arm. Uh, so it stays on the record, jump, doesn't jump all over the record. Uh, and the tone arm uh, is what everybody deals with. Uh, uh, that gets most attention for the record player, the tone arm. So you got to have it... Uh, the best way I could give you, if you want to know how to adjust a tone arm, is just go back there. Just just keep adjusting it until you know that it's good. And uh, the that's the best recommendation I can give you guys out there. Just just the tone arm the way you want it to have it. 
and uh, the, they call them tor- uh, torquing it, just torquing it. Make sure it uh, stays on the record, doesn't move all around the needle. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can do a little adjustments. That's why tech tech turntables the way they are, because you can adjust the tone arms. You can get the different uh, needles that come with it. You can get one that are stylish and ones that are really good that give you the great sound off the records. Uh, and uh, and yeah, you'll get the best results. They would say the best results uh, of the tech turntables. And you can adjust wherever you want. Uh, a lot of features on Tech D turbos that a lot of people don't know, they can go 33, 45, and the third one is 78s. Uh, not a lot of people do use 78s, but there's a speed for that. 78s are a lot faster than 33. Uh, they go twice as fast. Uh, so there you go, folks. Tech D turbos have a lot of features, and they have the reverse function. Sometimes on some turntables, they would have the reverse function. Instead of the forward, they go backwards. It'll sound a little bit different. That means their words will sound backwards instead of forward. Our our mouths, our their, our language, our language is forward. But when you put it in backwards, it sounds quite how do you say babyish. Uh, it wouldn't sound good on the human ear. Uh, so that's why the record player is going forward. It's they call it counterclockwise. So it's like a hand. It's like a. A hand on a, a clock goes all around. That's what a uh, tech, tech turntable would like to do. That's in a normal position. So there you go, folks. Uh, one other thing, just remember two names that you guys should uh, to keep in mind: uh, DJ uh, Cash Money and DJ Cubert. Uh, these are legendary DJs that are coming up from the ranks. Uh, of DJ, uh, these are name recognition. That's why they have their name titled. Uh, name recognition is all because of DJ. It's all because of the name recognition. Uh, they get a lot of a lot of publicity. I kid you not, a lot of publicity out of their name, and uh, it's not because of their uh, or DJ uh, know how and stuff like that. Scratching you hear in their uh, in their uh, DJ, they do it differently than a normal DJ would, essentially. Uh, they use the check D turntables like I mentioned and uh, they would use a DJ mixer which any DJ mixer if you like the, all the features on a DJ mixer go to Pioneer DJ that's the highly recommended uh, mixer to go with uh, these are people that are touted in these things uh, and uh, every year every year sometimes few years they would update these DJ mixers the features maybe to uh, uh to a lot of things, sometimes they'll look. Uh, they'll do a look over on the a DJ mix. What could we improve? What could we uh, uh, add on to this thing? Uh, so a lot of improvement here and there. Sometimes they'll do it with equipment stuff. Uh, but like I said, all DJs love turntables, Technique turntables. They're expensive, five hundred dollars a piece of these record players. These are expensive turntables. If you people have the money for it, go buy one of these things because five hundred dollars each for these turntables. Uh, th- uh, runs you about a thousand dollars. So there you go. Expensive turntables. If you're, if you have, as people would say, if you have the money, go buy these two Technique turntables worth a thousand bucks. So there you go, folks. Uh, Five hundred dollars a piece for these Technique turntables. You can probably get a deal with these things. Uh, but yeah, uh, five hundred dollars. That's the price point for uh, Technique turntables. That's a lot of money for you and I. Uh, so yeah. If you want to get the best, as they say, you got to buy the best. So there you go. So if you want to become a beginner DJ and you don't know how to DJ, a lot of DJs out there on YouTube will help you along with that. Uh, they'll tell you how to adjust the tone arms to the uh, what type of equipment you might need, what kind of mixer you need, what kind of speaker system do you need. Like, do you need powered speakers? Do you need headphones? What kind of the best headphones do you need? They would do the job for you. It would all all factors. Kid aside, uh, so a lot of equipment I'm saying here, I I know from experiences from a lot of people, a lot of DJs out there. So here, what I'm saying, this is a highly recommended uh, DJ uh, tutorials, as I would give you. I guess we call it this tutorial. So the G- DJs now, now remember, these are name recognition. It's like Jam Master J's. He got name recognition all because of Run DMC, uh, and his name was phenomenal from the early days up onward. Uh, so he got name recognition all over that. Uh, 
And, um, and some of these people learned from that. They said, how you get the best turntables, how you scratch on the records, get a good beat. Nowadays, uh, the DJs tend to use the Serato software. Uh, apparently, it helps them out with the, uh, the uh, creating records. They said, imagine uh, in the old days, they would have carry records, big tons of records, vinyl records. But nowadays, the DJs nowadays use a laptop with all their music in there. All the music in there. It's like instead of you carrying all those creative records, all your songs will be in this, you know, this laptop, and that would be all your music for the for the night. And so yeah, so you have a they call it a set list, and in Serato you'll see this in YouTube videos and people's YouTube videos. They use Serato software, and they have these cue points. Uh, so one gets started up, the next one's already started up. So. So this is a lot of, lot of uh, how do you say it, uh, a lot of experience. If you, if you don't know how to DJ, don't worry. Uh, go on YouTube, uh, people explain it to you how to go about it. And if you don't know, and if you want to feel, if you want to buy a Technic term, and you, uh, Technic term and you're new to this game, don't worry about it either. Just go get, uh, just adjust the tone armor. Sometimes the factory will adjust it, but if you want to adjust it more, you could. Uh, but like I said, folks, this is just a tor tutorial. Yes, tutorial step by step, and how to go about a, be a beginner of a DJ. I just said fancy dancy names to all these DJs that are out there already, name recognition and the merchandise that comes with it. Uh, so they like to have their merchandise records. Sometimes they'll even make an album of themselves, and um, yeah, they sell a lot of merchandise. And <laughs> people are not kidding, merchandise, and endorsements. They call them endorsements. Uh, so. So these are just DJ names, and it's phenomenal. It's like uh, Jam J, he got a lot of recognition. All because of Run DMC, and uh, people knew him from that group. And uh, from him, people are learning from how they become a DJ. When I got my first break, I'll tell you a little story. When I got my first break, when I saw Jam J on the turntables, uh, on the chamber, I thought, wow, that's something I want to get into. Uh, I just, uh, it just, uh, my eyes were wide awake on that point. Uh, so there you go, folks. It it doesn't take very much. Doesn't take very much to be a DJ. You got to get the right equipment. As I would say to people, you got to get the right equipment to do the, to do the job for your DJ job. Um, uh, for the business business end of side of things, you need to merchandise. Uh, you need to endorse your names. You need to endorse like a DJ name would give uh, out there. Like not your your own name, but your DJ name. It's like an alias name. Uh, so, uh, I'll give you an example. Like this guy I've heard about on YouTube videos, D DJ Cash Money came up from the ranks. Uh, it's like a total pole theory. Uh, came up from the ranks from the early 90s up till now. He's, he's came 20 years, 20 years of DJ. That's a long time, folks. And he can uh, spin records, scratch records, and he, he's doing it up. He's kind of doing it up. So there you go, folks. Uh, that's the step-by-step -step tutorials on how to become a DJ. Uh, now, it, ta it doesn't take very much to know how to be a DJ. You need the right equipment first and foremost uh, to be a DJ. You need technique turntables. If you can't afford it, just get, uh, just get small record players that don't cost that much. And you can do it. Try to do it on it and... Uh, and just make sure you have a proper mixer, proper DJ mixer. And, you know, beginner DJ, you don't have to have the fancy, fancy features on it. Uh, uh, and that's all you need. Two Technic turntables. And remember, these Technic turntables are worth uh, $500 a piece. So it runs you almost close to $1,000. Uh, plus the mixers, I don't know how much, what the price rates are on mixers. But yeah, that's uh, you'll see them in a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, Festivals. You'll see them in a lot of festivals and DJs when they... Sometimes they'll use record players or CDJs. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go now. This is my time, my podcast. Dave's world, welcome to my world. i got to say to you people out there, welcome to my world, my podcast world. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome, everybody.